All right, welcome to the third video. Um, we have the same game system set up here as the last time. We're going to walk through a couple of late game situations. So after a couple of players have, say, really put together a good deck and it's going to start to make a push to win the game and start to pick up some ecosystem cards. There's a couple of different strategies that you can use in this game that can be effective. One is to really make use of the action cards and the sunlight cards to be able to generate lots of energy to be able to do an ecosystem. Another good strategy is to utilize the food chain um, mechanic to try to create what would be an ecosystem and get a whole bunch of energy and make an ecosystem. So um, uh, let's, let's see what these decks have to offer. So uh, you have your hand of five. This looks like... We have two producers, a one sunbeam, a two sunbeam, and a population card, which again is no good. So, um, no good for playing anyway. So, we're going to start with our actions. We'll lay a producer card. We draw one card and get another action. See what happens. Oh, it's another sunlight. That's useful. We're going to use our second action because we gain one to lay the other producer card. So, I get to draw another card and I get another action. Uh, now we're talking. So, now we have an herbivore. Well, herbivores eat the producers, so this works out really well. So I'll use my, my remaining action to lay the herbivore. The herbivore is worth one energy, one sunlight energy. I get to draw two more cards, and it says, if a producer is in play, I get another action. Well, I have a producer in play, so let's see what happens. I lay my herbivore. I draw my two cards. A carnivore, that's useful. A disease card, I picked that up earlier when somebody um, hit me with, uh, with an attack card, so I got diseased. It's again no good. It's negative one victory point, so it cancels out my population. <coughs> I have another action because my, I have a producer on the table, so I'm going to lay my carnivore. A carnivore is worth a, worth a sunlight. It gives me another two cards, and for each herbivore in play, I get another action. So I have one, so I get another action. So there's my carnivore. I get two more cards, and I drew the mega load here. I drew a breeding season action, which I'll explain in a second, and a top consumer. Um, the top consumer is awesome, um, but if I lay it, my turn will be over because I'd be out of action. So first, we're going to do the breeding season. The breeding season gives me an energy, but it says if I have two of the same type of organisms down, I, I unlock all of this other stuff. I get another card, I get another action, I get two more energy, and I get two buy. Since I have two of the same organisms, I have two producers down. It's breeding season. So I'm going to lay this. All of that opens up for me, so I get another card, which is a three sunlight. I get another action, which I'm going to use for my top consumer. Now, if you can get a whole food chain out, you're in great shape. Your top consumer is worth three energy, two buys, plus one energy for every other consumer in play. So, I'm all out of actions now. So let's add up what I can do for the buy phase. Well, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My herbivore gives me another one, so that's eight. My carnivore gives me another one, so that's nine. My breeding season gives me one, so that's ten. And I unlock these other two, so that's twelve. My top consumer gives me three, so that's fifteen. And then it's worth another one for each other um, consumer. So that's fifteen. 16, 17, and I have like four buys, two buys from here and two buys from here, so I could buy five things and I have 17 energy to work with. So right off the bat, I'm going to grab an ecosystem card because that's the ultimate goal, and that uses up 10 of them, and I have seven more. I might as well buy a community and get even more victory points. That uses up all 17. Everything then goes in the discard pile. I would draw my next five cards. And that would be the end of a very successful turn. Let's say we use a different deck. Uh, this person hasn't been getting organism cards to build food chains. Instead, they've been focusing more on actions. Uh, let's see what this draw has. I have two watering holes, a succession card, a community, which doesn't help, and two sunbeams. Well, let's see where the actions take us. Watering hole is a pretty decent card. You get one of every possibility. You get one card, one action, one sunlight, and one buy. So I'll lay it down, see what the next card brings. Oh, it's three sunlight. 
and then over here. I'll lay down my next watering hole with my next action and do the same thing. I get to draw a card, make another action, and I got another three sunlight. That's That worked out really well. Now, let's make use of the, and I have another action, let's make use of succession. Succession is a cool card. You trash a card, which means it's totally gone from the game. It doesn't go to discard pile, it's removed entirely. But then you can gain a card that's worth three more than it. Well, it just so happens that I have this community card that's worth three victory points, and it costs seven. Well, I'm going to lay succession down. I'm going to trash my community card. It's going to be gone from the game, I'm giving it up. But as a result, I'm going to gain trash, gone. As a result, I'm going to gain something worth three more than that, and that was seven, so it means I could pick up something worth ten. Oh, there's an ecosystem. Awesome. Now I'm going to move on to my buy phase. So three, six, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to buy another ecosystem. I just gained two ecosystems in one turn. My turn is over. I'm going to draw my next five cards. And wait for my next turn to begin. 